Hello friends, welcome you all to a to z tipco.blogspot.in. This is the very first post of this blog. In this video, I will show you a very useful and important topic web service. You will get to learn how to create a web service in tipco. You will also learn how to invoke it using tipco bw. We will also see how to test a web service using SOAP UI. To understand this concept well, you should be having a basic understanding of web services. If you don't have, then no worries. Very soon I will come up with a new video which will be dedicated to web services. In that video, I will be explaining the concepts and type of web services. So let's start now. Friends, a very important part of a web service is the request message and the response message. To send the request message, a web service must define its own input schema and to send the response, it should be having its own output schema. A web service also have a fault schema which is used to populate the fault message in case of any fault error occurs. For this tutorial, we will not be taking that fault schema in consideration because the motive of this video is to teach you how to create a web service. If you learn how to create it, you can add that fault schema on your own. So let's create a new folder. Name it as schema. In this folder, we will add two schemas we name first one as input another schema name it as output now the content of this schema completely depends on the operation performed by your web service. Let's take it as an addition operation. That means our web service will perform the function of addition of two numbers. Number one, comma number two. Make them as locally defined and make the native type or the data type as integer. Now this output schema will hold the result and name it as number 3 or better we do it in a different way name this one as output and the content model is result again make the data type or native type as integer we need a http connection create a new folder transport add a http connection give any port number i prefer this 805 as most of the time it is available one more thing friends you can see I am creating a separate folder for schema, I am creating a separate folder for transport. This is just to make the things more easier and simpler to understand. You can put all the resources here, but it will become a bit untidy. Let's create another folder and name it as web service. Add a source, go to visual tab and select a visual. In this visual, we need to add a port type. This port type will contain the operation which our web service is going to perform. Now coming to this message. Friend, messages are a very essential part of our web service because any response or any request which our web service handle that comes in these messages. So we need a input message and we need a output message. 
these input and output messages are the path of data entry or data output of our web service so in this input we need to configure the input schema see friends after adding a part i am not able to configure a schema this is because we need to select the type uh, as element generally people left it as a type and they wonder why they are not able to configure the input schema or output schema so after adding a new part here we need to make it as a element and then we will be able to browse our schemas so i have configured an input schema in the very similar way so i'll make it as element and now i will configure the output schema so here we now in this port type we need to add a operation this is the functionality of our web service which we will offer to the client so in this web service we are adding two numbers so we will name it as addition or any meaningful name we have added a input we and we have added a output now again we need to configure input and our output in the operation see if you see it is a very clear linking we configured our schemas to the messages and now we are configuring our messages to the operation so we are good now we need to generate a service agent friends the entry point and the exit point of any web service is the service agent addition this is the operation or we can say this is where the actual functionality will occur if you see it has a start and end activity let's connect both of them see in the output we can see there are two numbers that will be coming in the request part and what we have to give in output since we are performing addition we can do this plus number 2 so this is the functionality we have defined here now we have to validate the whole project zero errors and these warnings are because these are some gbs which we are not using so we have just created our web service let's see how it looks friends if you see it is a complete xml message we can save our web service using this save visual tab file name i will save this web service in this folder only with the name tutorial web service let's refresh this project now friends always remember whenever you are refreshing your project select this root node only we need to run this service agent so as to expose our web service friends let's create a new project and in that project we will try to hit this 
वेब सर्विस लेट्स नेम इट एस इनवोक वेब सर्विस this project we need to import the wizdel which we have just created go to documents go to workspace tutorial so web service web service see we have just now imported the web service let's move it inside the folder and name this folder as wizdel create another process folder process open this add a uh, process definition now add a soap request reply activity this is the activity which we used to invoke a web service there are some good practices which need to be followed when you are working in tipco always align the activities see how beautiful it looks green pink red let's configure the web service let's give it some input 5 and 6 and yes it worked if we see friends this soap activity has input as 5 and 6 and if we see the output it is 11 let's come to the process where we have started our web service see friends the moment we started our soap request reply our process got started if you see the input here output here it has got 5 and 6 as a number and it has send it as a output to this process so this way we have invoked our web service so this was the first tutorial for web service let's see if we can test the same using soap ui see we have just loaded our web service here let's go to the request one let's pass two variables and see we have the output let's see again
see friends here we have got a error because we have passed 8.4 which is not a integer This was the failed scenario if you see here because it was not an integer we got this error 8.4 is not a valid int so using SOAP UI we can test our web service whether it is working as per the expectation or not friends thanks a lot for watching this video welcome with a new video on web services very soon. Thank you.